On this recipe Wednesday, instead of just buying Halloween candy, why not make your own? It's easy and it's delicious too. Shannon Smith shows us how from GTCC in Jamestown. Homemade Halloween candy. I love this. We're starting with a favorite of mine, pumpkin fudge. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Chef Michael Dowd showing us how to make it pretty easy to do at home. It is quite easy, yes. It uh, really doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients to it. With this one, you know, you can boil sugar and cook it to 240 degrees, but you sweeten condensed milk, it makes life a whole lot easier. Sweetened so condensed milk and We got some chips. white chocolate. Yep, we got some white chocolate here. We got some sweetened condensed milk, pumpkin pie spice, vanilla, and then just a little bit of canned pumpkin. Don't okay. Make sure you don't get pumpkin pie filling, just get canned pumpkin. So right, okay. You're gonna combine these two and melt them up. So we put them into, I use a, uh, you know, a water bath. We'll melt it down pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Got to be careful, don't get moisture in there because the chocolate can seize back up on you. Okay. So we got to be careful that you wipe away all the moisture. So I've kind of done that here. Oh, right. Does it look great? Usually it does look like it's seized up, but once you add these other ingredients into it, it usually just kind of comes right back together. So pumpkin, vanilla, spice, I can't believe how easy this is, is like just a few ingredients and you're ready to go. Yep. And so once you start getting this and you beat this together, it does start to come back up and get a whole lot creamier. And it gets smoother. Mm -hmm. You see it already. Yep. It's already working there. So. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. Yeah, I love pumpkin. start doing that and I kind of, you can vary this however you want to. Mm -hmm. I took some, uh, I'd made several different kinds. You can mix in some mini chocolate chips to it. You can put some, uh, you know, pumpkin cranberry. Obviously, pumpkin Ooh. is real good with all that, but you can see it's starting yeah, to get it's smoother smooth. and smoother. And once it gets yeah. smooth, it's just going into a pan yep. to and set up? Yes, you got to put it in your pan. You can line it with foil, film, it doesn't really matter. But once you dump that in there. Question about the caramel you put on top. What At what mm -hmm. stage would you put that on there? I put it on there once it's cooled down. Okay. So what I did with that, and again, we're talking really, really easy. Yes. All I did was just go buy some soft caramels, like the yep. other soft caramels, yep. whatever you want. And so once this is cooled down, all I did is put that again right back into my double boiler. I melted it down nice and easily, and then That's I dumped great. that over the top. So put that in the <clears throat> put that in the refrigerator, and then you've got some finished off pieces that I got. They look great. So I've got some here. I just kind of push some chocolate chips into them. This is just the plain. <clears throat> this is the one where I melted the caramel on top of Yum. it. That one actually used cranberries, dried cranberries in it and put the caramel on it because, you know, why not? But if you're using dried fruits, what mm -hmm. you want to do is you want to let them soften up in some warm water for a while. Okay. Make sure you squeeze all the water out and make sure you dry them. Good idea. Otherwise, it'll you know, the water in there will cause problems. Well, this looks so. great, and it'll take you all the way through yep. the Thanksgiving holiday. Pumpkin fudge, yum. Thank you for that. We're going to show you some more homemade Halloween candy coming up in just a few minutes.